So I wanted to make this video because I just want to encourage women that may be in a similar situation as Melody to let the other person have it. I know so many times we feel like we need to vindicate ourselves. We need to prove our point. We want other people to see our side. Um, we want to clear our name and all that is fine and good. But at the same time, some people just are going to want to believe the way they want to believe or see things how they want to see them. And we have to be able to go in, live in peace and live out our best life regardless of what anybody thinks or trying to prove ourselves or clear our name. You know, I, I just want Melody to let Martel have it. Like whatever he says, whatever, however he wants to paint her out to be, just let it be because we all see what's going on i see a man that's just trying to paint somebody out to be a villain because he's the villain if projection was a person martel would be the the spokesperson for projection because i really believe that's what he's doing Mel, we already know that you are a wonderful mom a mother a wonderful wife from what we can see on tv so i just kind of want her to release the situation not to say she hasn't done it but just release and let people think whatever let people say and think whatever and go on and keep being great and like i said i feel like she's doing that but you know that one little back and forth that they were doing at the end of the reunion on well, part three just kind of got me when he said um i just don't want to be a good man to you and then it, that little banter was just like uh here we go. You know, it's okay. Martel is not the only man in the world. And sometimes that does bruise our self-esteem. It makes us feel like, dang, what's wrong with us? Why didn't he want to stay? You know, we just really put that blame on us. When really, sometimes God is just trying to release us for something better. Most of the times we really think, think about it. We are in relationship situationships, of course, if it's a situationship, but we're in relationship marriages and stuff that God never ordained. You know, sometimes we get with people based off of our limited understanding of the situation at the time. But the whole time, God was still trying to grow us. That's how come I just realized like we have to be in our seasons. It's a season for everything. And a lot of times we're trying to push and change the season just because, you know, our biological clock, because we're this age, we thought we had this by this time. It does not matter. God works in seasons. So don't push the season, go outside the season. Let God grow and develop you as he is growing and developing that person that you're supposed to be with you know everything that um is not like ordained by god has an expiration date it's going to come to an end no matter what you know <laughs> so his word is true it's, it's going to come to pass no matter what it looks like so everything that's not like him it has to bow down um, and I'm not 100% sure if that's the case in Melody's situation, but just speaking for ourselves, like as women and men that are listening to this, just make sure you're seeking God in everything and that there's a peace, a godly peace that you have. Not because y'all look good on paper, not because y'all about to be this power couple. No, kingdom couple. <laughs> what 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 y'all gonna do spiritually you know y'all spirits are connecting in that kind of way now my bank account looks good his looks good we look good on paper we could do this this and, this and all those other things are good but like scripture say seek first the kingdom of god so can we two walk together and be agreed as we go to come together for god's purposes and plans for our lives you know what God put together, let no man put asunder. And that's what we want. Because if we get together off of our, like, you know, fleshly desires or things of the world, it's just not going to last because things change. But when God puts you together with somebody, it's going to last. You guys are going to be able to weather the storm because he knows your heart. God knows your heart and God knows that person's heart. So he's going to make sure like, you know, you guys are equally yoked and you guys will meet up together at the right place at the right time. So I'm excited that melody looks like she got her swagger back like you know she never she never lost it that's one thing i i just really like her <laughs> it's just she has been handling to me this divorce this situation with so much grace and class and i know like other women some women just be like i would have customer to like you know they even some people in the comments say that hey like, melody is a better woman than i am da, 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 da. and it's very very true i'm just very proud of her and i really feel like that's a woman that knows her worth she's beautiful she has a nice spirit about her most of the ladies on that show do so i'm, I'm like 
convinced and sure that no matter what they go through, they are able to bounce back, whether it's like financial setbacks or emotional relationship, doesn't matter. Those women just to me seem very resilient and reliant. And I'm glad that I'm able to see this um, with Melody. Melody S. Halt. And if she decides to drop the halt or not, we will see. But right now, Melody S. has got it going on. That's my homegirl. Remember when Tupac was like going to say that about Faith? Hey, Faith. Faith, that's my homegirl. Like when he said that, I'm about to find that clip. But Faith, my homegirl. I just want to send a shout out to Faith. <laughs> hey, girl. Faith. That's how I want Melody. Like, hey, girl. girl yes, my homegirl. Mel. You keep on doing it, girl. And same thing for the other women that are listening to this. Maybe going through the same or similar situation. We got this. What is behind us is far less than what's, um, what we're about to go into. Walking into our promise. You know, the good thing that God has for us. So, let's go. I just feel like I know that life has ups and downs. But the ups is what the promises of the ups keeps, you know. Keep your heart in hope and in faith to keep on keeping on. So this was a great season <laughs> of Love and Marriage Huntsville. And I'm excited to see what the next season is going to be like. Oh, 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 God. And I hope you guys join me. And thank you guys so much for coming with me on this journey. Because I was able to do, do a lot of videos and content around this situation. You guys have like really been receptive to it. So I, I have to thank the show for that too. <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for listening. And if you have not liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, I know that'd be annoying. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And when people say that, that just be so irksome. But, you know, just want to remind you if you want to do it, you can. <laughs> but anyway, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Medicine, quitting, man, a girl was having sex. Medicine, quitting, man, a girl was having sex.